Welcome back to United USA YouTube channel. I appreciate all y'all tuning in earlier. Posted a video about the chems they've been spraying in the sky the last couple days. They do it on average a few days a week here. That's at its worst when they do the grid patterns. And you can see that uh, it's something that is not going to stop. They continue to do this. Unless enough of us merge our voices together and say enough is enough and we demand to know what's being sprayed in our air, nothing is going to change. Showed this before, I'll show it again. Take a look at what the water level was back in 2000, Hoover Dam. This is what it looks like today. Reservoir conditions, we're only generating about 66% efficiency these days. The Oroville Dam and others in California are suffering similar fates. The Department of Water Resources says Lake Oroville may get so low by the end of summer that the Edward Hyatt power plant there may not be able to produce any power. The hydropower problem is just one of many reasons the North American Electric Reliability Corporation, or NERC, has put California at a high risk of power outages this summer. Just how low Lake Mead, the man-made reservoir for the dam, has fallen. As actually, six years ago when we were here, uh, we recall the water was a lot higher, and we're actually very surprised on how how low it's gone, the, how shallow it looks. Just because I'm seeing these bath rings, I can tell you it's a significant drop. To show you how significant, look at this picture of the reservoir level back in November of 2000 and pay particular attention to these intake towers. Now, compare that picture to what it looked like during our recent visit when the reservoir was at a record low. If you look at it on the reservoir here, you'll see that we're down about 158 feet from full pool. That, that's what we call, euphemistically call the bathtub ring. I mean, we've been down, yeah, creeping down to this level for quite some time, for the last 22 years. Doug Hendricks of the Bureau of Reclamation, which runs the dam, gave us a tour to explain the problems the shortfall is causing, not just on the water supply, but on the power supply, too since the water is used to spin these turbines to produce electricity at one of the largest hydropower plants in the United States. Right now we're on the backside of Hoover Dam. This over here is the transformer deck. This is where once the power is made, it's sent out so that California and other states can use it. The problem right now is because of the drought, they're not able to generate as much power as they used to. Under Full reservoir conditions, we can generate about 2,074 megawatts of power here, enough for around a million residents. But unfortunately now we're down to, uh, because of the lower reservoir conditions, we're only generating about 66% efficiency these days. It's worse due to a lack of rainfall. Back in 2011, the state faced one of its worst droughts in history. Take a look at the U.S. drought monitor from back then, 11 years ago. On October the 4th of 2011, nearly 88% of the state of Texas was under exceptional drought the most severe drought condition rating. Fast forward now to April 14th of this year, last week. Conditions not quite as bad as they were 11 years ago, but just north of central Texas, Lampasas, Coryell, Hamilton, McLennan, Bosque, and Mills counties, those all now under the most severe drought. Recent week. announcement to release 500,000 acre feet of water from Flaming Gorge Reservoir to protect Lake Powell is scheduled to start within a week. And Bob, near both bodies of water, you'll find communities that depend on that water and not just for agriculture and daily needs but for tourism as well fox 13 news reporter brian schnee spoke with businesses in daggett county after record years for visitations during the pandemic Water is pretty important to what we do. Flaming Gorge spans nearly 90 miles across Utah and Wyoming. And the water is a big reason why people come to visit. Besides anglers, uh, we are a huge uh, destination for the Wasatch Front. Mark Wilson has owned Red Canyon Lodge in Daggett County for three decades. popular spot to stay in the Ashley National Forest. But if you wanted to book for this upcoming summer, no vacancy. Full. The status of the lake today is uh, 
Not a great one. Bob Martin with the Bureau of Reclamation explains Mother Nature is partly to blame. We've only received about 30% of what normally would have flown into Lake Powell uh, this, this water year. Extremely low snowpack this past winter means much less water coming into this reservoir. But the same amount was released to supply water and power to Arizona, California, and Nevada. So these canyon walls get higher and the channels more narrow as the lake dwindles. It is getting serious, and uh, after 21 years of drought, it's easy to get calloused to that news headline. Uh, but as we get further into the drought, the more serious it becomes. For the everybody. decision is in starting almost immediately. Lake Mead will be getting less water. That's in a deal agreed on by the seven western states sharing Colorado River. That's right. Polina Butska is staying on top of this story. She joins us live with the fluid future of Lake Mead. Paulina. Well, Trisha, Dave, welcome to the inside of my apartment. Here in the Silver State, we know that water is a precious commodity. So when you turn your sink on, this is what happens, right? But what happens when that water runs out? Well, Lake Powell is almost at that level. And find out how Lake Mead is turning in the mix. The signs are posted every few feet, showing the different levels of water over the years. A critical water problem that Governor Steve Sisolak says is about to get worse. This drought isn't going away anytime soon, and we're going to do everything that we can to make sure that everybody has it. By it, we mean water, a precious resource. So seven states fighting over the Colorado and what is going to happen. Well, eventually, this is going to turn into a heated battle. There's no easy solutions, that's for sure. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that bell notification, like and share this video.